Yo, yo, people, wag one. Welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub. And in this one, I'm going to be switching out the hard drive inside of this Xbox One S with this 500 gigabyte SSD. I've got three Pro Tools here with me. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but I know I'm going to need one. And on the right hand side, I have my iFixit kit. So let's jump into this one. I'm also going to be using this air duster to get rid of some of the dust and the hoover to suck up dust once I spray it out. I always, always recommend whenever you open electronics, try and do some cleaning if you can, because you don't want to keep going back in there. First things first, we need to get the Xbox and flip it upside down. Now I'm not entirely sure which way this needs to go, but what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try and fit my pry tool, one of these under here if possible and try and lift up. I remember watching a video years and years ago on how to do this. So I think that's all I have to do. I have my first pop there. So once you have your first pop, there's a clip behind there that holds it in place like this. And once you have the first pop, the clips have come undone. And once you have the first clip that's undone, it should be relatively easy to go around and remove the other clips. So let's see if it's as easy as I think it was going to be. This is where I had my first pop. So I should just be able to go around and flip the others up, the others out. There we go. Yep, seems pretty straightforward. Let's put this down and see if I can continue. So I've gone around. I'm gonna show this process again before I take the top off. All I've done, under this black piece, so I'll turn the console upside down. And under the black piece, you use your pry tool, you stick your pry tool under and you simply lift. And you keep doing it all the way around the console because this black part at the bottom is only stuck on using some plastic clips. So these are the plastic clips here holding the console base in place. Once you take all of those off the entire distance around the console, then you should be able to simply lift it off. Be very careful when going around. Don't force it. You should be able to simply put the pry tool under it and simply lift and it should just start lifting up and unclicking the clips. This is now done. I'm going to simply take this off and we need to get under those screws. The one I'm going to be using is a Torx T10. This is one that seems to fit it nicely. So let me go around and remove these screws quickly. Quite long screws actually. I didn't realize they were that long. So I'm guessing they go from the bottom plate here all the way through to hold the top down as well. next three screws we're going to remove are this bottom one here, this one just below that, so directly below that, and this one over here where there was a green screw before. So one, two, three. These three screws are the one we're going to need to remove next. I remember the guy I watched years ago, so I've removed my three screws, that one there, that one there, and that one in the middle as well. I've removed the green screws as well. I remember years ago, the guy said something along the lines of lifting this part here and pulling it out or lifting this part whilst it's upside, well, whilst it's right side up. So you're going to flip it. So again, we took the screws from here just now and the opposite side is over here. So we're going to just hold this out and this whole metal part should fall out onto this table. So I'm going to flip this over first. I'm going to hold those two ends I just showed now and pull outwards. So again, my fingers are here and I'm going to be pulling outwards. And that should, yeah, that fell down. This just comes off, there are no wires anywhere, so that should be good. I can put this to one side. And from here, oh, this is quite dusty. Oh, this is gonna need some cleaning. It's a good thing I have my duster. This metal part should just come off. There shouldn't be anything holding this down. So slowly pry this off. Spoiler alert, this is not my console. My console will never, never be like this, but I'm gonna clean it anyway. So I'm gonna quickly grab my hoover and hoover this before I do anything else. Now ideally, when you're cleaning this, you shouldn't use anything other than maybe some alcohol wipes and some tips that go in your ears. Also, when you're using a hoover on this, like I just did, not the greatest idea in the world. If your fan is spinning too much, I did read somewhere that that could give feedback, push feedback into the system. So whereas current normally comes in one direction to try and put and let the fan move, if you 
do it and you do it the wrong way, current might go in the other direction and damage the system. That's not really something I'm worried about for this. I found the easiest way to clean this is to wrap a piece of tissue or wet wipes, well alcohol wipes, around a pry tool, a knife or a screwdriver and simply go around the console grabbing as much dust as you can. I then use my compressed air in the can to blow out some of the dust and finally after that I use the hoover to grab whatever bits and pieces were floating around. It's not perfect, but to be fair, it's going to be in a location that's not going to have much dust moving forward. So I am confident I don't need to do any more than this. If you think you need to do more, then you're going to have to take the cooler out. Um, most likely take the disk drive out and go underneath those components as well. But for me, I think I'm good. This is the SSD I'm going to be using in this device. This is a 500 gigabyte MX500 drive from Crucial. This is a drive that came with the Xbox originally and I'm going to remove this drive and put it with this one. Now these are exact physical replicas of each other so they should swap out perfectly fine. Any 2.5 inch solid state drive should swap out with this one. So if I quickly take this out and this piece here held that holds the hard drive in simply lifts out. There are no screws holding it down at the moment because those screws that we took out in the previous section were they went all the way through this and they held this to the chassis. And from here, I believe there, there should be a way to take this off, but I'm not going to bother with that too much. I'm simply going to flip this over. Instead of doing that, I'm going to take these cables out. So this is a SATA cable, SATA data cable, and this looks like a power cable. So I'm simply going to find a way to unclip those and simply pull this smaller one here with the yellow, black, blue, and red cable, simply pull upwards and that should come out. Yeah, simply pull upwards. The SATA data cable, now again, just like a normal SATA cable, pull upwards. So I like to put three fingers around it and squeeze from all three ends and pull up. So I'm going to do that here. And there we go. That's out. I'm going to put the Xbox to one side for now. Now all I'm going to be working on is replacing the hard drive with the SSD. So on here we have four screws. Well, we have eight screws technically, but we only need to take four of them out. The four smaller ones on the outside are the ones we're going to remove. So one, two three and four. The T10 screwdriver I have should be fine for this. They're a bit tight, but they should be good because these don't actually go into the circuitry of the hard drive. They only go into the chassis, so the case. I'm sometimes not the best with remembering how things should go in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this drive out the box. This is quite a nice drive. It actually comes with a sound dampening frame. I guess that will go on it. But the Xbox I believe already comes with that so I won't be needing this piece. So I'm gonna put that down, let's say that way. I believe that's how this comes off. So I've unscrewed everything. Everything comes off like so. All I should need to do now is to pull this off, put that onto here, then screw this back on. Pull that off, simply yank it off and it should come off perfectly fine. That will connect in exactly the same way. As you can see here, we have one SATA power and one SATA for data. Simply plug that back in. And that's it, it should be good to go. If you put that back there, that should line up. So those tiny four screws that we took out earlier should go directly back into this. So I'm gonna put those back in now. go everything is all screwed back up I'm gonna grab the Xbox and put this put this back in there the Xbox is back and the drive I believe it went in like this so I'm gonna plug the cables back in first and then find a way to slide it in there is a flat edge that goes back to that white socket that's plugged in and the SATA connector there's only one way for it to go in so just be careful the way you're plugging it in there we go put that back like so so it will wobble when you put it back in because it hasn't been screwed down yet. So once you screw it down, it should be all right after that. The next step is for me to put one of the screws back in. I, I'm going to actually go and see if I can find the video of the guy who I watched doing this a few years ago. I watched this video like 15 times because back then I had an Xbox as well and I was going to change the, SS, the hard drive out to be an SSD. I didn't bother doing it, so I didn't need to use it then. But I'm going to see if I can find that guy's video. It was very, very, very helpful. I remember most of what he said in that video, to be fair. That's how good it was. What I'm going to do now, I believe this 
this he did he did this in his video as well i'm going to simply put my hand on here to hold it i'm going to flip this over and screw the screws in so that they hold the hard drive or the ssd in place so that was one of them there i believe that was another one there and this was one over here the bottom one over here if i'm not mistaken The next thing to do is to put this metal casing back on. Simply line up these vents here with the fan, put it down, work your way around and try to find out what's holding it up and move it down slightly. So nothing on this side. This side is okay. Okay, something is holding it up on this side here. This thing here seems to be holding it. I can't remove it. I wouldn't want to anyway. I'm just going to push that back in. And do that. Ideally, you want to use plastic for this because this seems like something that's linked to the circuitry at the front. But here we go. That's back on. Yeah, it's not moving too much. Should be good. And finally, we're going to put the top case, the top white case back on. We're going to simply line up the vents here with the vent here. Obviously, it needs to take in air. I think that's all you should need to do. It should line up relatively easily. I did have to put this on my lap to do it perfectly fine because I'm using a very wobbly table. And you simply pull these sides out. You need to line this side up so it's completely flush. So there should be no gaps that you can feel, even though you can see a tiny gap running at the top there. When you run your finger over it, you shouldn't feel any lips or dips. Once you do that, you should be good to go. I don't think there's anything else you need to concern yourselves with at the moment. After this, put it back on its top like this, I guess. And you're gonna grab that final piece and you need to line up this USB cutout here with that USB port. I should be good to go. But before I do that, you need to put the screws back in. I completely forgot about that. So let me go ahead and put that in now. Now the last part is we need to line up this USB port cutout here with the USB port at the front of the Xbox. So you're just gonna go around making sure it's in and you should just squeeze to make sure it's clipped in place. That sounds so horrible, but everything should be good. Now I'm going to jump onto my PC and show you guys what you might need to download to get this working. This is what you're going to be greeted with once you turn your Xbox back on with your new SSD. The option that I want is actually grayed out. It's that one at the top right hand corner that says offline system update. So I'm going to go to that website address. I'll put that in the description as well. And I'm going to be able to download the offline update and hopefully that works. If it doesn't work, then I think I might have screwed something up. Most likely what would have happened is that because my Xbox came with a one terabyte drive and I dropped it down to 500 gigabytes, that might be the issue this website i'm on now i'll put the link in the description but all you'll need to do is to scroll down and where you see osu1 file so this thing here you click on download and once you've downloaded the file so i'm going to click on it now to start the download i already have the file but i'm just going to show the process click on it to start the download it's going to pop up here if you're using chrome if you're using a different browser it should be somewhere else once you've finished downloading the file what you then have to do is to extract the file. So I've already extracted mine, but I'll show how to do it again. To extract the file, you right click on the zip folder. So this is my compressed zip folder here. Right click on it. Then you go to extract all and you wait for it to finish. It's gonna take a couple of minutes depending on how fast your computer is. I've already extracted my file because I wanted to get this done ahead of time. Once it's been extracted, you then have to plug a memory stick into your laptop, computer, whatever you have. So on the left, I have a blank memory stick. So let me just go back. This is my section labeled this PC. I go into this folder here called Xbox DVR. It doesn't matter what it's called. And then in here, I'm gonna go into the folder I extracted earlier. So this is the OSU1 folder. I'm gonna go into this and they said all I need to do is to highlight this and copy it so right click to copy and go down to where it says 
copy is this icon here for Windows 11. On Windows 10 or Windows 8, there should be copy on the list here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click on my folder section over here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do paste, which is that icon there and wait for that to finish. Now that everything has finished copying, now all I need to do now is unplug this from my PC and plug this into my Xbox, restart it and see what comes up. Thank you. 